remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Oprah Winfrey has pulled the plug on the Me Too documentary centered around Russell Simmons. She's stepping down as the executive producer and blocking his path to Apple TV. She announced her decision to distance herself from the project on Friday after being dragged by people who said she was targeting black men accused of being sexual predators instead of their white counterparts. Oprah says, I have decided that I will no longer be the executive producer on the untitled Kirby Dick and Amy Zuring documentary, and it will not air on Apple TV. The doc, which features a former music exec who accused Russell of sexual misconduct, is set to premiere next month at the Sundance Film Festival. Oprah adds, first and foremost, I want it to be known that I unequivocally believe and support the women. Their stories deserve to be told and heard. Oprah says that more work needs to be done on the film to illuminate the scope of what the victims endured, and it has become clear that her and the filmmakers are not aligned in that creative vision. Yeah, right. More work needs to be done on your head. Because Oprah, you think like a white supremacist. Black on our side, every bit of a white supremacist on the inside. That's Oprah Winfrey. She's been doing it for a long time. She's been able to get away with it for a long time, but now she's getting called out. She's getting called out left and right. That's why she's distancing herself. You don't just walk away from that kind of, but she, had, she ain't never walked away from a major project like that that she had total control of just because she had a few creative differences. Now, she was looking for a way out and her people helped her come up with a way out. They, she probably went to them people and started making certain kind of demands and said, let's do this, do this, and didn't like that they wanted certain things done. And she was like, you know what? I'm just going to step away. You know, this, 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 these moves that people be making in Hollywood, if they tell you to look over here, the action is over here, just like in politics. They tell you to look this way, it's over here. They tell you to look that way, it's over there. That's what you got to do when you're dealing with them. I don't believe her one bit. I believe that she distanced herself because the heat was on. 50 drugger, uh, the game drugger, and shit, everybody drugger. Like, man, why are you picking on black men? What's up with these black women with these platforms constantly picking on black men, trying to drag black men? It's like that, that it's like these dudes, these executives, these white supremacist executives are using these black women to do their bid. And they're using black men too. Stephen A, a prime example, Charles Barkley, prime example. I know some of y'all can't see it because they make you laugh, and I get it. You know, some of y'all don't mind sacrificing your convictions for laughter, you know, for entertainment. Y'all, if motherfucker make y'all laugh, y'all, <laughs> man, he all right, man, leave him alone. As long as you can get a laugh, boy, he all right. You're going to try to protect him. Ain't worth two nickels, but he can make you laugh, he entertain you. Charles Barkley wear dresses and wigs and skirts and kiss old men in the mouth, like all in the mouth on the lips on national TV, and y'all just laughed it up. Just laughed it up. Oh, Charles Barkley, he's... See, anytime they can break a buck, they like them. They like it when they break that buck. See, Charles Barkley was a buck. They broke him. They broke him, and they love him now. At first, it was lock him up. Remember when they wanted to lock him up? Remember when he threw the fan through the, through the window and they wanted to lock him up? They hated him. Lock him up. Some of them wanted him dead. Put that dress on. Ooh. Oh, I like that guy. You know, see, Charles is the kind of guy that I wouldn't mind hanging around. 
They always like those non-threatening type, buffoonery type blacks. They love those type. They love those. They love it. They love anything like any little flimsy stuff. Plain land crooked. They love all that. They love that type of stuff. Yeah, I love you if you do like that. Can't stand a strong black man for nothing in the world. Can't stand a successful black man who calls his own shot. Russell was calling his own shots. Can't stand it. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody went in on how, you know, this, this sounds like a hit job to me. But Russell got receipts. So I think Russell going to be all right in the end. He got receipts and money. So I think he's going to be all right. But we got to be on guard at all times. I mean, it ain't no secret. It's been like this for a long time. Black men uh, in America, America has the American government in cahoots with the uh, American media has made the black man out to be the boogeyman. And so much so that some black men even think the black man is the boogeyman. <laughs> some black women believe that the black man is the boogeyman. Just like they, you know, have set up black men to believe that black women are the enemy. Man, once we start fighting each other, going against each other, it's a wrap. You can forget it. Don't tell me you love uh, black people and you're going against your own people and you fighting and bickering about little shit and putting all that negative energy out there about those who uh, represent your race uh, in the opposite gender. Don't give me that. You can't tell me nothing about how you love your people if you're a man and you a black man and you clowning black women all the time or if you're a black woman and you clowning men, black men all the time, you can't tell me nothing. Oprah Winfrey is one of those. Yeah, it took a while to really get her really, really exposed. But yeah, she is who she is. I'm not surprised at all about her antics. She's been doing stuff like this for years. But she's been able to get away with a lot of stuff because people just ain't really been paying too much attention. You know, and the sound wasn't loud enough coming from those who were in opposition of what she was out there preaching and what she was out there doing. But it's loud right now, and I think everybody really now knows exactly who she is. Oprah Winfrey is an enemy of the black man. You can't tell me no different. No more talk. What the talking about?